Meet Simon and Sophie Sibley, two of the 950 babies born at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital last year. Proud parents Aaron and Colleen Sibley had been trying to start a family for some time, so to find out that they were expecting twins was an unexpected delight. And everything was quiet and Aaron was on my left and, and Jill, our friend who was the obstetrician, was on my right. <clears throat> and she then said, I'm not saying anything, I just want to make sure everything's okay and then I'll tell you everything that I see. But nothing's wrong, I'm just not saying anything until I check everything out. <clears throat> so she checked everything out and she showed me one heartbeat and, and then Aaron said, can you tell us about the second heartbeat? <laughs> so it was actually him that, that said it. And then I thought, how long has he been sitting here knowing that there were two? And uh, I guess that was pretty exciting because I've always been interested in twins and just felt like a lottery to get to. Colleen is the daughter of Norm Peters of North Rustico, better known to most islanders as the bearded skipper. He knew his daughter was in good hands at the QEH. Yeah, when Colleen went in there, boy, <clears throat> I, I, I had the opportunity to see one of the CAT scans, and, uh, and they were really kind. She pointed out, you know, the, the one doing it, here's the leg now, Norman. You see the leg? And see the spine? And uh, the little hearts were beating and everything, and everybody was so careful. And, and, and uh, I can't remember Colleen's doctors, uh, the lady doctors that they, they knew, I think. And, uh, and um, yeah, the, 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 everything was everything just was great with the people. Colleen was scheduled to be induced at 38 weeks. After spending most of the day in labor, it was decided that the babies would be delivered by C-section. And even in the operating room, uh, when twins are born, of course, it's a, a big deal. So there's a number of, of extra people there. So the operating room was filled, I think, with about 15 people. There was a team for each baby and uh, you know I'd say they were very pre prepared, very professional and uh, things went extremely uh, well obviously and we had two, uh, two healthy babies. Yeah. When we finally did have the twins the nurses were extraordinary and I was shocked that they would be there for you know I don't know maybe 12 hours and they just seemed to go home for a very short period of time and they'd come back and they were refreshed looking and they came back with you know all the energy in the world to take care of you and the babies and answer question after question after question it was apparent that you know it was their passion and their calling to be there Aaron Sibley is an emergency physician at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital he understands better than most the level of care Islanders receive at the hospital but overall, I think that uh, the people should be very pleased with, with the, the care they get. And I've worked elsewhere in the country, so I have, uh, have a lot to compare to. And I think that, uh, you know, that we can always improve and, uh, you know, people are always trying to be better. And uh, with the community support through the foundation and through the telethon, I think that, uh, that we'll continue to be able to provide a high level of care that's on par with, with that in the rest of the country. For Colleen, the doctors and nurses at the QEH made an already joyous experience even more memorable. Good night. I think the hospital just seems like a family that of people that are in the right place for them. Uh, one nurse actually, um, she walked us right out to the car. She helped carry carry things. Now I know that's not in her job description. <clears throat> she walked us right out to the car. Uh, we stopped and met some people and took pictures along the way and she weighed it with us. Right to the very door she took us and they all, you know, gathered to say goodbye to us and, and said come back and we don't see the babies later. We see them now and then we don't see them again. And they said please come back and I felt like they really meant it. And I think the care goes beyond what they learn in school and the care goes beyond the medical side. And I think it's people being very, very human at their job.